Hello everyone, today our topic is how to create Nifty PM tasks for sessions booking. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new booking from sessions, then automatically by capturing the details of that booking, I'm going to create a new task in Nifty PM. So for this, I have to build a simple connection between sessions and Nifty PM. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use trigger and action. In trigger application, I'm going to use sessions. In action application, I'm going to use nifty. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can create nifty PM task for new session bookings. So in my session accounts, I have created different sessions and I'm getting booking for all my sessions. Now here, what I want is that I want to use a particular session and only if I'm getting booking for that particular session, then I'm going to create a new task in Nifty PM with that session booking details. And all this is going to happen automatically with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, whenever I'm going to receive a new booking for a particular session, then automatically I'm going to create a new task in Nifty PM with that session booking details. So here with Pabli Connect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a connection between sessions and Nifty PM. And I'm going to build this connection without any coding and programming skills. Now how I'm going to build this connection and how I can use Pabli Connect. For that, I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then you just have to click on sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow, so I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to create Nifty PM task for sessions booking. Now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have created in my Pabli Connect account. And in this, I can use any particular folder to save my workflow. So here I'm going to use this folder of home and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principle on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be sessions. So I'm going to select sessions here. And now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and booking created will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect sessions with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So for that, what I have to do is I have to use this webhook URL and this webhook URL is going to work as a bridge between sessions and Pabli Connect. Now for connecting session with Pabli Connect, I have to follow all these instructions. So first I'm going to copy this webhook URL. I will go back to my session account and here I will go to my profile. Now after opening profile, I have this option of workspace settings. So I'm going to open this and in workspace setting, I'm going to go to webhooks and here in webhooks, I have to add a new webhook. So I'm going to click here on this add webhook button and here I have to first give a URL. So I'm going to paste that webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. That will be my URL. So I'm going to paste that here and now I have to give a trigger and permission. So I have to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all my triggers. So I'm going to use this particular trigger of booking created and my permission will be of personal. Now I have to click on confirm and I have successfully added my webhook. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli Connect and in Pabli Connect, we can see it is waiting for webhook response. So how we are going to get this webhook response for that, we have to create a new booking for our session. So for this, let me take you back to sessions. I'm going to open this option of book me. And in this, I will find all the sessions that I have in my session account. And in this, I'm going to use this particular session of connect integration. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to copy this booking link. 
and I'm going to open this link in a new tab. So this is my booking page for this particular session of connect integration. So I'm going to use this page to create a new booking. So first I have to select my date. So my date will be of 16th of April 2024 and I have to select the timing. So my timing will be of 9 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. So I'm going to select this timing and I'm going to click on confirm. Now I have to fill all these details. So first I'm going to give a name. So my name will be test user. Email will be test user at the rate pablitudes.com. And if I had to add any guest, I can give that email too, but I don't want to add any guests. So I'm just going to give a random phone number here. And now I have to schedule this session. So I'm going to click here and my booking is created and I have scheduled my session. Now we'll go back to Public Connect. And here in Public Connect, we can see we have received this response. So in the response, we have this trigger, which is of booking created. So we have created a new booking in sessions and we have the start date and time, which is of 16th of April, 2024. And also we have the planned and date. So we are receiving this time zone in UTC time zone. And we need this time zone in Asia Kolkata time zone. Also in this, we have all these details like the email address, which is test user at the rate .com. This is the name of the person who has booked our session, which is test user. And we have the session name, which is connect integration. And it was booked by test user. And we have the session description, which is, this is a session for learning about public connect. And we have received all these details and we have the phone number. Now here I have received all these details. So here first I have to set up a filter. And with this filter, if I'm receiving a booking for this particular session of connect integration, then only this workflow will work. And with this workflow, I'm going to create a new task in Nifty PM. So for setting up my filter, I have to set up my action step. So I have to open this tab and here I'm going to use this filter by Pabli tool. So I'm going to select this and this filter by Pabli tool is a tool that Pabli connect offers and we have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and filter values will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect filter by Pabli with Pabli connect. So I'll click here on connect. And now I have to give a label filter type and value. So for the label, I have to open this tab. I'm going to open this response of sessions. And in this response, I'm receiving the name of my session. So this data session booking name is going to be my label. So I'm going to select this. And here I have to give a filter type. So I'm going to open this tab. And in this contains will be my filter type. Now I have to give a value. So in the value, I'm going to give the name of the session that I want to use. So I'm going to type my value here. So connect integration is going to be my value. Now what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to receive a new response from session, then in session, I'm going to receive this label of data session booking. And in this data session booking label, if my value, which is of connect integration, and this is also the name of the session that I want to filter out. And if this value contains in my label, then only this filter will work. And I'm going to receive a response of success. And if this filter will work, then only I'm going to create a new task automatically in my Nifty PM account. So now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here my condition is true and I'm receiving the status of success. So this means that my filter works and I'm receiving this booking for this particular session of connect integration. Now what I need to do is I need to create a new task in Nifty PM. So I have to add one more action step here. And here my action application is going to be Nifty PM. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select Nifty PM here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create task will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Nifty PM with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Nifty PM. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to scroll down and I have to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here and I have successfully connected Nifty PM with Pabli Connect. Now I have all these tabs to create a new task in my Nifty PM account. So first I have to give the name of my task. So here as my task name, I'm going to give the name of the booking that I have received from session. So I'm going to use that particular detail from my session response and I'm going to map that here. So I have to use mapping here and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open the response of sessions and here this is my booking name. So I'm going to map this. So this is also going to be my task name. Now I have to give the description. So in the description, I'm going to click here. I'm going to open the response of sessions and I'm going to use this trigger of booking created. 
so this will be my description that i have created a new booking automatically for this particular session and this was the name of the user that has booked that session now i'm going to scroll down and i have to select my project id so i have to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the projects that are connected with my Nifty PM account. And I'm going to use this particular project of connect. So I'm going to select that. And also I can select my task group. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I only have one group of to do. So I'm going to select that. And if you have more group, you can select any particular group that you want to use. Now I have to give a due date. But in session response, I'm receiving the due date in UTC time zone. And I have booked my session in Asia Kolkata time zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the time zone of my end date and time. So for that, what I have to do is I have to first add an action step between these two steps of filter and Nifty PM. So I'm going to add an action step here. And here I'm going to use a tool, which is date and time formatter. So this is a tool that Pabli offers. And with this tool, we can format date and time in any particular format or in any particular time zone. So I'm going to give an action event here. So I have to open this tab. And here we are going to change the time zone. So I'm going to select this action event of format time zone only. And I'm going to connect date and time formatter. So I'm going to click here on this connect button. And now first I have to give the date. So I have to click here. I will open the response of sessions. And in this, I have this session planned and date. So I'm going to map this. So this is my date and time. Now I have to select the format that this date is in. So I'm going to open this tab. And in this tab, you'll find all the formats that your date can be in. So you can select the format according to you. So this is my format that my date is in. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to give that from time zone. So my date and time is in UTC time zone. So I'm going to select UTC here. And now I have to give the time zone on which I want to change my date. So I have to open this tab and I want to change it in Asia Kolkata. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to click on save and send test request button. Now I have to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see we have received the response and in the result, we have this date and time in this particular format. And this is the time zone, which is in Asia Kolkata. So if we have received this and date and time, now I have to scroll down. I'm going to open this tab and now I have to give the due dates. So I'm going to map my due date. So I have to click here. I'm going to open the response of date and time formatter, and I have received this result where I have changed my time zone. So this is going to be my due date. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to scroll down. And I have to click on save and send test request button. So here we can see we have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have created a new task automatically in my Nifty PM account. So to check this, let me take you to Nifty PM. So here we are using this particular project of connect. And in this, we can see we have created this new task, which is named as connect integration test user. So this was the name of our booking that we have received from session. And in this, we have the status of to do. And also we have this due date, which is of April 16, 9.45 AM. So here we can see that we have created this new task automatically in our Nifty PM account. And we have created this task with the detail of the new session booking that we have received for a particular session. So here our connection between sessions and Nifty PM is working successfully. And whenever we are going to receive a new booking for a particular session, then automatically we are going to create a new task in our Nifty PM account. Now to check this in real time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my booking page and this is my booking page. So I'm going to create a new booking here. So my booking will be of 17th of April and my timing will be of 10 30 AM to 11 15 AM. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on confirm. Now I have to fill all these details. So here I have to give the name. So my name will be demo user email will be demo user at the rate pablitudes.com and I'm going to give a random mobile number. And now I'm going to schedule this session. So here I have created this new booking. Now what should happen is that automatically by using these booking details, a new task should be created in my Nifty PM account. So to check this, let me take you back to Nifty PM. And here we can see we have created this new task automatically in my Nifty PM account. So here, this is the name of my task, which is connect integration demo user. So this was the name of my user that has created a new booking. And here I have the due date, which is of April 17, 11, 15 AM. So this demo user was the user that has created the booking in my session account. And I have used all that session details to create this new task in Nifty PM. And I'm going to open this session. And this is the description of my session, which is booking created. So a new booking has been created for this particular session. And I have created a new task automatically in my session account. 
So here my connection between sessions and Nifty PM is working successfully. Now, whenever I'm going to receive a new booking from a particular session, then automatically I'm going to create a new task in Nifty PM. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here we have successfully created this automation between sessions and Nifty PM in such a way that whenever we are going to receive a new session booking for a particular session, then automatically we are going to create a new Nifty PM task. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was sessions and my trigger event was booking created. Then I have set up my action step. So here I have first used filter by Pabli and here my action event was filter values. Then I have used date and time formatter by Pabli to format my time zone. And in the end, I have used Nifty PM as my action application and my action event was create task. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.